I decided to naturally dye some eggs this week in preparation for Easter, and I'm going to share my results with you now. For this I used just four ingredients, including a head of red cabbage, some red and yellow onion skins divided, and white distilled vinegar. I chopped up the red cabbage to expose as much of the surface area as possible, placed it in a big pot, and covered it with water. I added a couple big handfuls of red onion skins to a pot and did the same. And same with the yellow onion skins. With onions, a little goes a long way, so you really don't need as much. I placed all three pots on the stove, added a glug of white vinegar to each pot to help give it a consistent pH, and then got the water boiling. I then continued to let it simmer for about 30 minutes until the water was visibly pigmented. Now we have our own chickens here, so I grabbed the lightest brown eggs I could find for this, but if you get white store-bought eggs, just know that your results may turn out a bit brighter than mine. These are uncooked eggs, and I went ahead and added them to the dye pots with all the plant materials still in the pots. I hadn't tried this method before, and I wanted to see if it would lend some interesting texture to my eggs, but I would probably just go ahead and strain out the plant material next time. I cooked the eggs in the dye bath for 10 minutes and then turned off the heat and let them cool for a bit and then I went and fished them all out. This part would also be easier without all the plant material in the dye pots. Here's what it all looks like in the natural light. The color is pretty intense with the onion dyed eggs, but the cabbage dyed eggs were pretty light. They were more of a lilac color right out of the dye pot but seemed to turn more blue as the color oxidized, which was interesting. I could have stopped here, but I was curious to see if the color would intensify if I soaked the eggs in their dye liquid overnight. So I put them all in jars and topped them with some of the liquid from the dye pots, and then I labeled them and stored them in the refrigerator. I actually forgot about them the next day, so they were in there for two days, and this is the result. The color definitely intensified for the red onion and the yellow onion, but the color change in the cabbage dyed eggs was the most pronounced. Here's an egg I held back from the first day to compare. I actually really like both colors. So yeah, you could get a lot of variation with just a few ingredients. You can mess with the ratios of plant material and cooking time to get different results, and you could also use white eggs for a brighter color. All in all, I'm really happy with how these turned out, and I can't wait for our Easter egg hunt with our kids this weekend. If you have a favorite natural dye ingredient for Easter eggs, drop it in the comment below. Thanks for watching!